the aggression on Gaza. President Afet Hassisi said that the sacrifices of the police personnel are highly appreciated. Al Sisi was speaking during the graduation ceremony of the Police Academy New Cadets on Tuesday. He said that each martyr case is a source of pain for Egypt. During the ceremony, its students showcased their combat capabilities. Al Sisi also honored distinguished Police Academy cadets with second degree medals of excellence. لكل أسر شهدائنا شهداء مصر كل التحية وكل التقدير وكل الاحترام لكم وعايز أقول لكم إن إحنا كلنا في الدنيا اللي إحنا يعني الناس بتيجي وتذهب لها ما لها وعليها ما عليها Interior Minister Mahmoud Taufi addressed the graduation ceremony of Police Academy New Cadets. He said that the police fulfill their national duty in protecting and securing the home front. He said police are keen on implementing modern technologies in security fields. President Afet Hassisi received phone calls from presidents and leaders from several countries regarding the containment of escalating violence between the Palestinian and Israeli sides. During the phone calls, all sides agreed on the importance of commitment to restraint in order to avoid deterioration in humanitarian and security situation. Details follow. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received a phone call from Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The phone call tackled coordination regarding containment of escalating violence between the Palestinian and Israeli sides. The two presidents agreed on urging all sides to stick to immediately cease fire. President El Sisi also received a phone call from Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman that dealt with developments in the Palestinian territories and their impact on the civilian lives and regional stability. The two leaders agreed during during the phone call on the importance of containment to restraint in order to avoid deterioration in humanitarian and security situation. President El Sisi and Prince Bin Salman agreed to continue coordination between Egypt and Saudi Arabia during the coming stage to confirm Arab vision regards their Palestinian cause. Earlier, President El Sisi received a phone call from United Arab Emirates President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan that dealt with the developments in the Palestinian territories and efforts to stem ongoing military escalation. On the same issue, President El Sisi also received on Monday a phone call from Austria's Chancellor Karl Neymar to discuss the developments to current escalation between Palestinian and Israeli sides. President El Sisi also received a phone call from Cypriot President Nikos Christou Doridis, where the two leaders tackled current efforts to halt escalation between the Palestinian and Israeli sides. Moreover, President El Sisi received a phone call from UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. President El Sisi and the UN chief agreed on the danger that crisis poses to peace and security in the region and the need to reach a ceasefire on all fronts to protect civilians and to allow diplomatic efforts to contain the situation, restore calm and revive the peace process. And the Arab League is to hold an emergency meeting on Wednesday on the level of foreign ministers to discuss Israeli aggression over Gaza Strip. Arab League Assistant Secretary General Ambassador Hossein Zaki said the meeting is called upon a request from Palestine. He said the talks will discuss political moves on Arab and international levels to stop the Israeli aggression on Gaza. Egypt's high-level security sources said that Palestinian cause is now witnessing the most dangerous phase in its history. In remarks to al qahira al ikhbariya news channel, the sources said there is a clear plan to serve the aims of occupation that are based on taking over the Palestinian territories from their owners and forcing them to leave their lands, choosing between death by Israeli strikes and immigration outside their lands. The sources warned of the repercussions of the current crisis over the Palestinian cause and right, and that there are some parties and powers are serving the occupation scheme by paving the way for a corrupted offer politically and historically, seeking to resettle Gaza residents in Sinai. The sources asserted that Egypt 
opposed this offer and will always prevent it. It added that this offer is refused by Palestinian people who, is, uh, who holds its rights and lands, which is announced by the Arab League and was accepted globally on clear basis for the Palestinian cause, which is currently being dissolved. Israel continued violent and unprecedented airstrikes on Gaza Strip. The Palestinian Health Ministry said the number of martyrs rose over 687 deaths and injuries surpassed the 3,700. Israeli media said the death toll 